Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a cow print on a glitter tumbler with alcohol inks. If you guys seen my previous video from a couple of weeks ago where I showed you guys how to apply alcohol inks over glitter for my neon geo tumbler, then this video is going to be kind of similar to that, except we are going to be doing a cow print design. Now I know there are many tutorials out there with this type of design but I was actually approached by a customer to create a custom tumbler and I don't know if you guys know but I do not do many custom orders as much anymore. So when this person approached me to do a cow print tumbler I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to create something new that I've never really done before but I knew that I've been wanting to do because you guys know how much I love alcohol inks and experimenting with different designs on top of raw glitter. So today, that is what I'm going to share with you all. Before we get started with today's video though, I wanted to talk to you guys about my mentorship program because it is the beginning of the month. And of course, I want all of you guys to gain as much as you can, not only from this channel, but being able to have access to me, tutorials, and as well as growing your small business. So my mentorship group is called the Creators Club. It's been around for a while. We are a very small group of creators of many, many different skill levels. You do not have to be advanced in the craft at all. In fact, if you are a beginner and you never even touched a tumbler in your life, this group is going to be perfect for you. Every month I do live tutorials and I usually focus on different techniques each month. I also discuss how to grow your small business and other tips and tricks on how to navigate social media. Not only do you gain access to my tutorials for that month whenever you join, but you also have access to all of the previous tutorials that I've ever done. So you gain access to many, many different kinds of tutorials. And a lot of those tutorials have never even been seen here on my channel. I take a lot of what you guys request for me to do into consideration. So a lot of the times my calendar for the month is guided by what you guys specifically request for me to cover inside of the Facebook group. And as you guys know, I also have a website with glitter and mica powder and a whole bunch of different products. And that is something that you guys also get a 20% discount on all of the time. Also work with many other amazing small businesses, which they also give discounts to for the members of my mentorship group. There are many, many more benefits to being a member of the Creators Club. And if this sounds something like you would be interested in joining, then definitely check out the link below. I have all of the different benefits listed down for you so you guys know exactly what you are getting when you join me in the Creators Club. Of course, a huge thank you to all of our current members. Your support means everything to me. Thank you so, so much. So now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial. So we are working with a 20 ounce skinny tumbler and I have already prepped my tumbler white. We're gonna begin by applying a even base of glitter all around our tumbler before applying our inks. For this tumbler and for my glitter application, I am using dishwasher safe Mod Podge for my application of choice. In my previous tutorial where I showed you guys how to do alcohol inks over glitter, I used resin for my glitter application because we were using a chunky glitter. So because I'm going in with an extra fine to fine glitter cut, I'm going in with Mod Podge this time because it dries a lot faster and we don't really need a super tacky or really um, heavy adhesive base for this type of glitter. So we're saving time by applying an even coat of dishwasher safe Mod Podge all around the base of my tumbler and I'm just going in and sprinkling this glitter called Iced Out all over the base of my tumbler. You can find all of the products and supplies that I'm using for this tutorial today listed and linked in the description down below along with any discount codes that I may have available to you guys so definitely check that out okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through a little bit here but pretty much all you need to do is just make sure you have your base of your tumbler completely covered with a nice even coat 
Okay, so I originally went ahead and grabbed two shades of alcohol ink, one in the shade Teakwood and the other one in Butterscotch. These are both Tim Holtz brand, but I ended up going in with Teakwood because it is a darker shade. Um, I love the nozzles of this one in comparison to the Bravery that I used in my last alcohol ink tutorial. You can tell that the nozzles were a lot fatter and a lot th um, thicker, but with the Tim Holtz, you can see that the nozzles are a lot thinner and smaller which makes for a more precise application with your inks so for the cow print ink you want to pull up a picture something that you can kind of gauge and have a visual on the pattern of a cowhide or cow print um, and then kind of just start laying down your alcohol inks in the uh, similar pattern um, i'm basically just putting down different spots and I don't want my spots to be too circular or um, too similar in size or shape. I really want them to look very random and I just want them to look like how a cow print would look. So looking at an image is very helpful for this part, but really all you need to do is just randomly place your ink down and the ink will move and separate and do its own thing, which is really, really helpful. So as I begin to um, really lay down my spots in different shapes and sizes, um, once I've put down a few bigger ones, you're gonna see that I'm gonna start like shaking my alcohol ink bottle to kind of let out little splots of and dots. Um, I'm gonna try to speed it up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is when I start to be putting down like small little dots of ink and then I'm kind of just like throwing my ink around and splattering it basically around the cup. Um, I'm not trying to have it look uniform or anything like that. And then wherever I feel like I can put some bigger spots and kind of um, help it blend a little bit more, I that's basically what I do. Um, so here you can see I'm just adding a couple more bigger spots and then I'm going to go back around and kind of splatter that ink again. It is a little bit messy so definitely be careful. Make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting spotted or anything like that but I'm kind of just shaking the bottle and letting the splatters land wherever they may. And then I go ahead and I start adding little spots down at the bottom and then that is it for my spots and i'm really happy with how it looks so far so of course just like the last video you want to make sure that you let it dry overnight 24 hours and then we're going to go ahead and seal it with this clear spray that i'm showing you right here definitely want to make sure that you allow your inks to dry 100 percent before you go in with any type of sealer or your resin you don't want any of your inks to kind of smudge around when you're applying your ink so let it dry 100 percent spray seal it about two times make sure everything is really good and it's not going to move around and then you can go in with your resin here i am using my counterculture fast set resin and i'm putting in about 30 mls of resin all over the base of this tumbler and then i'm going to let it completely cure and then i am going to be going in with a second top coat of resin again and once that's cured we are ready for the next step of this tumbler Okay guys, so now that we have added two coats of resin, this is what your tumbler should look like right off the turner. As you can see around the rim of our cup and our, along the bottom rim, there may be some rough edges. This is where we are going to take the time to clean off our bottom and top rims and clean the inside of our tumbler. So there are a few different ways that I like to clean off the rims of my tumbler. Sometimes I'll use these manual razor blades. Other times I will use a drill to clean off my rim. Um, either way, they all do kind of the same thing. It just depends on what I feel like doing that day. If I don't want to deal with a whole bunch of dust with my um, drill, then I will go in with my razor. I got this razor, I believe at Lowe's or Home Depot. You can find it at any of your own local hardware stores. I believe they may even have this type at the Dollar Tree. I'm not entirely sure, but I think they do. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my razor blade and I'm very, very carefully running it along the top edge of my cup to clean off any resin that may be right at the top of my rim and on the inside of my rim. 
Once I've gone and cleaned that off, I am now going to angle my razor downward toward the outside of the cup so that we can create a lip at the base of our tumbler. So you do not want your glitter and resin to come right up and over to the top of your rim because leaving it like that can cause um, your tumbler over time to separate from the rim. If it drops, it can crack. So you do want there to be enough space from your resin and your tumbler. So you want to leave just the slightest little lip open. So I'm using my razor blade to go ahead and manually do that. Once I've gone around a few times with my razor blade cleaning it off, I'm going to take a very abrasive sanding block. Now this is 60 grit and I'm going to run that along the rim of my tumbler. So this is really just going to sand down any areas that I may not have gotten with the razor blade and really, really start to sand down that resin from the top of my tumbler. So here you can see a few areas where I left um, some resin there. So I'm just using my other little crafting tool to trim that up. And then I'm going back in with my sanding block. And here you can see that stainless steel really starting to peek through on the top of my cup. And that is exactly what you want. You want to see a little bit of stainless steel poking up um, poking through or above your glitter your glitter and resin now it's time to start sanding down the bottom rim of my cup now for this cup i did go in with two coats of resin so you want to make sure that when you are sanding over your glitter and it is a little bit rough you want to go as lightly as possible so i'm spritzing the bottom of my tumbler with water and i'm going to be using a less abrasive sanding block for the bottom of my cup this i believe is a 220 grit sanding block which is very very fine and this is just going to help smooth down any rough that I may have without really digging into that resin and potentially messing up the glitter underneath. Going very, very softly, not putting a lot of pressure at all. Again, just to smooth down the rim and not to really cut through that resin. I like to do a wet sand on my tumblers because it does cut down the sand and the debris that comes flying up when you're doing a dry sanding. And also I think it gives the finish a nice smoother feel when you're doing a wet sand versus a dry sand. So I am going back on my top rim with a spritz of water and then sanding that with that very fine abrasive, abrasive sanding block, that 220 block. And I'm just going just to smooth my edge on the top. Now that we got all of our sanding done, we are going to begin cleaning the inside of the cup. And this is essential for finishing up your tumblers, okay? You wanna make sure that you have a nice smooth rim up on top, nice and clean and on bottom. And you also wanna make sure the inside of your tumbler is nice and clean before sending it out to customers. Never, ever, ever send out a dirty cup to your customers, always clean the inside. So to clean off the spray paint, from the inside of my tumbler, I like to use this acetone that I get from Lowe's and I put it on a paper towel and I just begin cleaning the inside of my cup. So this cup has just leftover glitter and some white spray paint, so it's fairly easy to clean up. If I feel like I have a little bit of spray paint that's being a bit stubborn, I will then spritz that same exact paper towel that I'm using with 91% alcohol and then I will begin um, cleaning the inside again. Another trick I, I like to use also with stubborn spray paint is sometimes I will put acetone over a magic eraser and usually that does wonders for taking off any stubborn spray paint from the inside of my cups. So now we've cleaned off our rims, we've cleaned out the inside of our cup, and we are ready for our final layer of resin. If you wanted to add a cute decal or a quote or anything, at this point right here is where you would do that. Once you've applied your vinyl design, water slide, or whatever it is that you're going to be adding, you do want to go ahead and seal that in using Quick Coat by Counterculture DIY or a Krylon Clear Sealer, and then you can go and apply your last few layers of resin. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought about it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.